Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. Well, it is raining. Um, there's been a storm overnight. Hopefully that will clear as the morning goes on, but it's still fairly early. And uh, I do want to get out there and uh, go and do some looting. Uh, now, overnight I've made myself a lockpick. Uh, just want to go around and top the fire up. And in between episodes, I have uh, crafted a second fire. So um, I'm trying to get some uh, some ash. We might need to take that bear out before we leave. Uh, let's have a very quick look at the plants. Um, the last two tomatoes that were in this uh, plant bed came in, so I've replanted with some more tomatoes. We've got one cotton and some more tomatoes on the way there. Um, looks like these uh, turbines are doing some work, which is good, finally. Getting a little bit of power together. Let's see where this bear's gone. No, the bear's gone, so we should be fine. Right, and um, I was having a very quick look at the, at the map. And we have um, rogues here. And we have... Whoops, I always drag the, the map the wrong way. We have rogues on the lake. So I'm kind of thinking that we could... Head down towards this little lake and just head into the valley, um, and that'll be a nice, uh, a nice loot run, I think. Oh, um, make sure we top that up. It's only halfway, but I really want that to keep going today. Has it stopped raining? I believe it has. Awesome. Right. Okay. Let's make sure we eat. Um, got a little bit of food, so we're doing okay. I'll have a berry and i think we're good to go um yeah we've got 726 um 1.17 coming in that's going to drop now a little bit because of the um, turbines have stopped and we've just got 0 0.87 coming out and that's because i'm running this and it's only got five of each left so yeah i think we're good to go all right let's get out there and uh go and have a good a good loot day hopefully Right, we've got a bear that way. So, I hope you're keeping well. Um, it's uh, still locked down here in the UK. It's very odd. I'm finding it very difficult to keep my uh, routine going. Um, so, apologies for maybe a fewer number of videos than usual. Um, I just need to try and find time to actually uh, do some recording so it's it's weird you think you'd have all the time in the world but um uh yeah it's, it's been very difficult as i'm sure it is uh, for a lot of people out there just trying to keep a regular routine anyway we are back in the game i'm going to try and record a few more of these over the next couple of days and there are a few um green hell episodes to come as well having a blast with that game it's fun learning something new so thank goodness there are no snakes in this game got bitten by a snake last time in green hell which was uh which was interesting uh, right, okay, no. I think the two rogue camps... I'm in the middle of both of them, aren't I? Yeah, that's fine. So I can afford to go up here. Uh, no, there's a bit of copper up there. I wouldn't mind. Can we get up here easily? Oh, we can. Right, um, let's see. Roll the tools around. Let's grab you. Yeah, I need, um, but I would really like a lock crate if we can find one today. I'll be honest. I'm going to run around with the 44. I've put the shotgun and the rifle away for a little bit just because I was running a bit short on ammo. Um, okay, I don't want to go this way, but I'm going to grab this plant. Let's have a look down here and see if there's a... Uh, a lot crate. There usually is somewhere around here. Right, there's a couple of normal crates. 
guarded by a wolf. We could take him out, but I think for now we'll avoid him and come back. Maybe he will have moved. Yeah, so we've got this lockpick. Um, I really find the relying on lock crates gameplay the best way to play this game. Rather than farming fish oil with traps, which is one of the other options um, for your medicinal tonic, or fishing, which is the slower of the options, I believe. Um, I really find lock crates is just the best way to uh, to get up and going in this in this game. For me personally, you get so many goodies, and if you know where to look, you can pretty much farm one a day and get stocked up on all those uh, things that seem to take a long time to craft. Otherwise, so that's my my style of play. Uh, so I can see potassium. Oh, there's a bit of iron here. Oh, it's nice that rain has stopped. We've had um, a lovely spell of hot weather in the UK and it's kind of spoiled me a little bit. And uh, over the weekend uh, a cold front came in and it's absolutely freezing. It is so cold. And when I loaded this uh, game up today and it was the uh, middle of a storm, I thought, oh my goodness. That's the last thing I want to see. Right, okay. I'll get this. We don't need it quite yet, but it might be useful for alloy sheets. Probably what I'd need it for right now. Let's see if there's anything else on this rock. Nope. Um, okay. Let's see if we can find a, uh, a lock crate. It's going to have a little wander around up here. Seems fairly quiet of uh, animals at least. So they're normally on the on the lower sh lower slopes of this this area here. And then down into the valley so uh, we'll we'll follow the usual routes and see what we can come come across hopefully we'll find something there's no rush we've got plenty of time left in the day but it would be good to secure one uh, right bear there what are you you're just a bush there well there is a crate not having the shotgun with me kind of makes me nervous because that's my go-to um, weapon for if uh, something pounces. Uh, there's another crate there. I don't know where that bear is in relation to that. Let's go around and have a look. Well, there's an ammo crate down there if the bear is too near. Let's see. Actually, he's a, d a decent distance away. We should be fine to get this. Oh, nice. I am after the um, electrical components, actually. I've only got nine left in the base. And if I want to make another turbine, which is, I think, the next thing I want to craft, you need six per circuit board. Um, and you need three circuit boards for... A turbine, so I've got the pearls, funnily enough, that's not a problem. It's the, uh... It's actually the electrical components that I'm struggling for, so I'm hoping that if we can find a lot of crates, there might be some in there. Right, make sure I pick up all the scrap. I'll go for the berry. I'm going to double back around and go for that um, ammo bag we saw. Let's see. I can see lots of plants. There's the ammo bag. 
uh, rabbit. Did I hear? You have to excuse me if you hear any noises. My neighbours are doing some work in the uh, garden and just occasionally I hear a bang or a thump or something. And it's just trying to pick up if it's in the game or if it's them working. Headphones cut most of it out but uh, I know the microphone can pick up a lot of stuff so... Okay, I'm gonna go for this. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna head up just up the valley here, I think, rather than going any further down that way because it's uh, the chances of finding a lot crate I think are probably better up here because there's a double spawn point um, up here. So you've got sort of twice as twice as many chances. Just want to make sure that we don't run into any rogues. I've seen two rogue camps on the map, uh, but there can be um, there can be more obviously because the map is bigger now. So there are definitely more rogues. I think you can have possibly up to four. I am going to need to eat some vegetables soon, so I'll get rid of the uh, apple. That will give me a bit of room. Right, this is the area I really wanted to look in. Just over here, down in this little dip. So, nothing on the hill that I can see. I do find these lock crates more difficult to find now with all of the foliage. Um, it's easier at certain times of year but definitely more difficult than it ever used to be which is good I mean you know can't be too easy right I have little chicken okay here is the other area I really wanted to check out. Maybe we could have a look at some um, ore rock as well. But let's just look along here first. This is a prime spot for rogues. All right, let's look at my food. Uh, yes, look at look at that. That's really going down quite quickly. Um, I'll take some water, I'll eat a couple of protein bars, that's as good. I want to go too crazy. Can't afford to run around with a little bit um, lowered stats but with not having been in this area for a while I, uh, I like to check it out before I get to that point. There's a little rabbit. Not bothering with any food today because we've got quite a bit in the fridge. That's good. I can see a, a crate here and one up right over there by the tree. Nice. These circuit boards are definitely coming in handy. Um, okay. Right. Let's crouch and uh, get the ore. Ooh, lots of ore today. Oh, that copper just, uh, we just missed it. I do need copper. I uh, keep seeing the uh, zinc, a lot of zinc lately. Oh, nice. Yeah, we need this. We need so many um, bars. The metal bars. No, I can see a building crate over there. But let's get this first. And there is a wolf patrolling near that building crate. Okay, cool. Not seeing any crates though. That's a little bit disappointing. Let's go back this way. 
kind of look down the little valley that runs towards the lake, I think. Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, there are usually bears and things around here, but... One over there. Let's just look around the, uh, the common areas that we see lock crates. Actually, it seems like it's been a while since we got one. I don't know if that's true. But that's how it feels. Yeah, I really do rely so much on my shotgun these days. I feel quite vulnerable without it, even though I've got a 44. Probably, probably my least favourite weapon, I think. I don't really um, use the double barrel either. But that makes a great sound. But uh, I prefer the normal shotgun. Just having those extra shots in backup in case anything goes wrong. Right, okay. Have a little peek over here. To look on top of these rocks. Nothing there. Nothing up here. Just sneaking my, uh, my way around just till we know what's here. Um, some ore on there worth getting. Yep, nothing down there. Let's get the ore. A um, couple of pieces, that's good. We always seem to get a lot of ore on the map now. Got one round the corner. Can we grab you without falling? Yeah, we've got you. I think we can get you like that. There we go. And uh, this rock in front of us here is pretty good as well, usually. Yeah, there's one, well, one piece is not bad, better than none. Okay. So, let's have a look what's around the lake. So, no luck so far. With our locked crate search, um, we'll come back along here, I, I guess. But let's have a look up here um, around these rocks. That's another good area. Pretty cool running around with this thing in your hand, though. <laughs> Looks good as you run around. Ooh. Now, I don't know where he was. I didn't see him at all. I'm not going to stop to find out. A bit of ore on the rock there. I'm still not sure where he was. Let's have a look down here then. So, I found lock crates in between the, the rocks here quite often. Um, some on this little hill down towards the lake here. Is that a crate there? No, that's a fern. And some down here as well, just on the shore. But no luck today, okay. Unless I've run past one, which is quite possible. Let's carry on up to the next rock, just to be sure. Sometimes they actually spawn on top of the rocks as well. Um, no, nothing. Right, okay. We'll, um, we'll go back through the valley a little bit. I think the uh, chances of finding something is probably better in this area. Anything on the slope there? No. Nope. Oh, okay. That's that wolf. You can shush. Um, right, let's see. No, nothing. Okay, well, let's just carry on. Maybe we'll stumble upon one on the way back. It's usually the way. We've got some good loot today. I'm pretty pleased with the electrical components, although I could do with a few more. 
Um, so we'll see if we can get we'll, we'll see if we can get some more. Let's grab this while we're here, though. And oh, haha! We were hiding. Up oh, another electrical. Good. We need uh, twelve for what I'm looking for. And I think we've got nine. Actually, no, we need more than that. But anyway, we've got nine back at the base. Are you scrap? You're just a dark bit of dirt. Okay. Gets me every time. In round here. Nope. Really ought to look above um, above these rocks here, but we'll we'll check out the green valley first. This um, rock here, I found uh, lot of crates on this before, uh, and up there actually. Have a look up here. There's a, a wolf tripping over a rock. Put on camera. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go for this bag and the scrap and then we'll head back up towards home a little bit at least. Just want to check out these uh, these rocks up here. Before we leave, maybe just on these slopes as well where the grass is yellow. Nice, we're getting a few berries today. That's good. We, we are low on those. I really hope um, future updates bring in the ability to grow berries. That would be nice. Maybe you get more from a yield than you would like a tomato plant. Um, and I would love some more building pieces. So I would love um, some of the triangles that you get in other games for building kind of round buildings but not really round but you know the the kind of thing I'm thinking of and I would love the hunters to be nerfed a little bit they're far too accurate um, but I imagine that's a massive massive project to get working on the uh, the hunter AI but I think that that update um, Spending some time working on the hunters and their their movements and, you know, making them a little bit more realistic would, would really please a lot of people. So, uh, but anyway, as, as always, I'm kind of looking forward to what uh, Cold Games brings to, to the party with the next update. I don't know how far away we are from getting the, uh, the next one. They're kind of every roughly two months now, I think, which is fair enough. You know, there's uh, big changes being made. A lot of work goes into these things, so I'll have a tomato. Make sure that we're fully sorted on vegetables. Uh, let's just peek over the edge here. Any sign of a lock crate? Not really. go back this way and we'll grab the ore that was here at least. Are you... are you iron? I think you're iron. Kind of difficult to tell. Iron, yep. Good. Right, let's go back this way then and we'll see. Is that a moose? There's a moose down there. We'll see if we can see. Any lock crates in the, in the forest? What? I had too much success today. Oh my gosh, run. I don't know why I stopped running there. Oh my word, he's uh, kind of hungry. I think we'll just run. I don't like running into an area I've not checked out before. That's the problem. Especially when there might be something I need to stop for to collect like a, a locked crate. Let's just check out over here. He, he actually dropped off quite quickly, so... Oh, there's a bear. 
There's a deer. Well, we could always do with a deer, but let's see how we get on looking for a crate. Now, are we relatively safe here? Just want to have a very quick look at the map. This is pretty cool, actually. I wanted to um, unlock this, uh, uncover this area of the map if I could. Oh, I really wanted to get that plant. Oh well. A couple more here. There's a bag. Oops. Nice, okay. Oh, it's good playing this again, actually. I I've missed it. it. It's only been a couple of days, but it feels like um, much longer. I think it's because we're um, playing other other things in between. It's been, uh, been about a week, I think, for subsistence. And um, I don't normally go that long without playing, so... All right, let's grab the scrap. That wolf is still there. I might kind of just drag him, drag him away. And this little bit here is great normally for lot crates of some sort. Nothing today though. I don't want to get too close to the rogues that are over that side by the lake which we are in danger of running into and uh, of course um, the hunter over on the left there so I think I might need to abandon my lock crate search today that wolf heard me from a long way away oh berry nice drive by berry there Right, okay. Gotta be careful in case there's a hunter fishing at the lake. Let's just take a quick look. It looks fairly empty right now, I think. Yep, not too bad. Our base is just up there. Um, let's run this way around, shall we? Yep, I think we're fine here. This is where he's sat fishing in one of the uh, one of the reed beds, and I don't notice him until the last minute. Okay. Well, we are safely back at the base. I'm going to see how many um, circuit boards we can make with the uh, electrical components we've picked up. So, and we'll have a look out the window while it's still light and see whether there is a lock crate right next to the base, which is probably what's going to happen. We've been running around all over the place looking for them and uh, there'll be one right here, I'm sure. Let's have a quick look. Uh, I'm not seeing anything initially. There is a bit of ore on the top of the rock there. Let's go up. Just look out these windows. Sometimes these are a little bit easier. It's getting dark now, but no, I'm not seeing anything. There might be something down, down over there, maybe. Right, okay, uh, let's stop the fire up before we lose them, and I nearly lost that one. Let's hope we are quick enough on the on the next one. Get down the ladder, please. Get down the ladder. Traverse. And drop that in. Awesome. Right, good. Um, okay, so, circuit boards. Let's get a light on. Um, we'll need the pearls and that, and probably some copper. Uh, we need three circuit boards and we should have plenty of power and mass 
two, three. Exactly three. Oh my gosh. Right, so if you have a look here in the recipe for the turbine, we need six adhesive and two rope. And then we've got everything else, which is pretty, pretty good, actually. Um, let's put some other things away. Uh, you, you, and you. Nice to have some shotgun shells, although I've got no room for them. I might put the ammo in another location. I think it's getting to that stage. Maybe the ammo and the weapons. Let's see. Let's put those away. Ammo and... Um... There we go. Right. Lovely. Make some... May as well use this, uh, this other um, storage. There's all of those. And we need that for the... The turbine, we need six of you and two of you, and then we does need some mass. So, um, I don't really want to use all of this. Uh, 57, let's make 60 and let's turn all of that into sticks and then at least we get a little bit of a bonus. See so how quickly I can click the mouse button. Not very quickly usually. Right, there we go. Um, right, okay, let's put the rest of these things away. So, yeah, copper. We could probably do with running some copper. Can put the uh, pearls away as well. Drop those in there. Uh, you and you. It'd be nice to be able to make that turbine, I have to say. Right, good amount of those. Let's have something to eat. We'll have a liver. Should fill us up nicely. We'll have a tomato, take another drink of water and let's have a steak. There we go, completely topped up now. Uh, right, recycling then. I can leave that for a moment while I just grab some water. And what are you? Level two something over there but I can't, I think that's a bear. Should we? Where have you gone? I think you're there. Yeah, you are. Are you going to be silly? Oh my gosh. And I know I'm... I know I'm wasting that, but... It is quite satisfying. Now, have you fallen all the way down? Oh my god. Right, okay. Let's see if we can get you. Will you despawn? Oh. Always disconcerting when you see another uh, another health bar, and then it turns out it's just a rabbit. So we needed a little bit of food to top the uh, bridge back up, anyway. So that will do nicely, and we need to come and fix our base. So let's grab the wood and the hammer. Now where did you, uh, where did you hit? Somewhere here, probably. Yep. And I noticed that had uh, a little bit of damage. And you as well. Now can I reach you from here? Doesn't look like it, because my, uh, power storage and everything's in the way. You're fine. Yep. That'll do then. Right. Let's put all of this away and uh, put the wood away. Let's get the water on to cook and the fat rendering. That is nice. Um, I'll leave that raw for the moment just in case we need that for anything. Put a little bit of cloth and yeah, let's put those ores away. We got a lot of ore. Look at that, 37. Nice that we got that much copper as well. And yeah, let's reload, reload you. We've got our three circuit boards there. And let's see, how are we doing? Yeah, we just, we've got everything, we just need the 200 mass. So, what a shame, we, uh, we need to recycle some stuff. It's uh, so annoying. 
I wish there was a better way of generating mass, something something a little bit more efficient. We seem to spend so much time waiting around for for mass now. Power generation was bad enough, but yeah, mass is mass is a big problem. Right, 120. So what is that gonna give me? That's gonna give me 72. Kinda get in there. 158. What else can I recycle? I don't need. Um, I don't know if I want to do that much wood. I could do some nails. I don't really have a lot of kind of spare stuff. Uh, let's turn that on for a little bit. We've got. Yeah, we've got some fuel now. So we'll run the generator and the fabricator. And uh, we'll just see how that how far that gets us. Right, so you are happy. Let's water our plants. Oh, this is this is ready. That's awesome. I don't think I've got any uh, cotton seeds. That's such a shame. Right, you can have warm water. You can have a water. Um, now what should we plant in here? We've got two of you. Um, potatoes. Let's do potatoes for a change. And we should think about getting the distiller. Let's do two tomatoes. Right, we've got three potato seeds left. That's fine. Um, okay. Could recycle some fiber. Could I could actually recycle all of those grubs. Um, Forty six of them, but I was keeping them for getting a uh, an animal housing. All right, let's drop down. Whoa. Okay. So how's our power and mass doing? Seven hundred and twenty one. Oh my god, it's so expensive. I can't. I can't live with this. I might sacrifice some wood. We're up to 180. Um, yeah, I'm going to sacrifice uh, 40 wood, I think. Oh my gosh. Um, yep, okay, 40. Oh, I only need half of that, silly me. I think that's right, isn't it? There we go. That's not quite as bad as it could have been. Right, there's our 200. So I'm going to let the power just build up a little bit. Um, that's our only little bit of cotton too. Which is a real shame. Oh, do you hear that? That is uh, shooting. Happening somewhere. Uh, let's have a look on the uh, on here, see if we can see any... flashes. No, I'm not really sure where that was coming from. Only pretty cool though. Nice to open up the map a little bit more. Hmm, okay. Um so 630. Oh that's cutting it fine. We've got we need six hundred for this turbine. Oh, that would have helped, wouldn't it, if I'd have actually turned the uh, the generator on. Is there a, uh, a lock crate out here? That would really just be the icing on the cake. Not that I can see. Let's turn you off. Uh, you've got eight fats, so that's okay then. That's not too bad. Good. Right, let's get this turbine made. Um, I know I'm... I'm kind of cutting it fine we've got 50 but you know the sun's out let's get that done and that can help generate some power for us I'm gonna top the water up do we need water before I do that we do there we go and we've got a lock pick for the next day's looting and that should be uh, should be pretty good. Let's go and put this turbine up. And where I'm going to put this? We're running out of uh, room up here. It's not a very big roof. 
Uh, we've got two. We could put one here or put one in between, I guess. I don't think they'll interfere with each other. Uh, let's see. Maybe like that. Yep. Now that's the one that's not upgraded. And we need uh, metal ingots and more circuit boards. Wow. Okay. Well, the next storm we have, we should start seeing some more power. Trickling in. Let's make sure this fire's fine. Pop it up with a little bit of fiber. Why not? And you're on, you're off. And how many circuit boards do I have? None. No, um... Mechanical, no, what they're called? Electrical components, sorry. No electrical components left in there. And I'm desperately short of wood, so, um, yeah. Okay, well, we know what we need to do next time, so I think I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.